well staffed that area right there is. And so there's a lot of doctors, nurses on the scene just to deal with uh, some of the runners who could collapse as a result right. of running 26 miles plus. And there is some of the dramatic video that we're showing our viewers of that one explosion that occurred right near the finish line at this uh, marathon. Uh, and we're, get, we're getting word from some of the hospitals that, that individuals, uh, Elizabeth, have already been brought into the emergency rooms and, they, and they're, been, they're, they're, they're being treated. Right, so we're getting word that that is happening. And of course, in a place like Boston that has such a well-organized medical system, these emergency rooms are already on alert because this is a huge event. And so they know, they knew even before this, that they needed to be ready to receive people. Now they, were, they weren't thinking about an explosion. They were thinking about other, you know, heat stroke or, uh, or orthopedic injuries. But at least they were there and they were staffed and they were ready to handle large numbers of people. And so again, this is very close to several different hospitals. For example, Mass General Hospital, which is you know one of the nation's most prestigious hospitals, is, is quite close to this scene. It, it's it's an, an amazing event, uh, you know, and Mike Brooks, it could just be a, a, an infrastructure explosion, uh, as I've been saying. It could just be something from a gas pipeline. It could just be something from uh, some sort of steam or generator or whatever, but the coincidence happening on Patriot's Day in Massachusetts, a major event, uh, the, the Boston Marathon, another major event, opening day of the Boston Red Sox right. over at Fenway Park. It sounds suspicious to me. You know, they, uh, you know, Wolf, if, you, if we could go back to that picture we just had up there just a second ago from our CBS affiliate uh, right there on the scene where you see a thermal event and you see it looks like a large amount of smoke, that picture right there. If you look at that, that's, that says to me it looks like some kind of explosion. I, again, it's hard to say whether, you know, it's, it's a steam explosion, but you look at the smoke. You look at that white grayish smoke and you look at that thermal event. That's something uh, of, of size. Now, if it was going to be in an electrical vault or something like that, more you would more most likely have more fire than this. You know, it would continue on. Uh, you know, as we've seen, it would blow other, uh, it would blow other, you know, uh, caps off of the off of the sewer system, off the steam system. So, but looking at this picture, uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, that bomb experts and uh, the FBI explosives lab uh, down Quantico, they're going to say whether or not this was an incendiary device or if it was an explosion dealing with infrastructure. Yeah, and we don't know the answers to those critically important questions. We do, uh, we do suspect. We do believe that law enforcement at some point, probably sooner rather than later, will be making a statement in Boston updating us on what, uh, what, we, what, what exactly happened. Uh, we are getting in a statement, though, from the vice president, Joe Biden. He just spoke out a few minutes ago. He said, I'm speaking here. They just turned on the television in my office, and apparently there has been a bombing. I don't know any of the details of what caused it, who did it. I don't think it exists uh, yet, but our prayers are with those people in Boston who have suffered injuries. I don't know how many of them there are. I'm looking at it on television right now. It's interesting, though, uh, Mike, he uses the word bombing, yeah. uh, which uh, could be different, obviously, than an explosion. Uh, that's a, I don't know if he's just hearing that, it, assuming that the explosion is a bomb or whatever, but if it was a bomb, obviously, that escalates what we're seeing. Well, you know, and it's, it's the vice president who's putting this out there, Wolf. And so you would think that the vice president uh, would have some kind of briefing. And, you know, and keep in mind also, when you have something like this, you have opening day there at Fenway, at Fenway, you know, last week, but you had a ball game, Patriots Day. They already had a joint operations center set up for police, fire, EMS, uh, all the counterterrorism assets, if you will, for this particular event. They set that up when they have, every time they have the Boston Marathon. You know, so as Elizabeth was saying, you already have all these assets already in place. So it's just a matter of possibly bringing in more assets. But you, when you hear the vice president send out a message talking about a bombing and not an explosion, and then you see the efforts of uh, New York City sending their emergency services people out there to some of the icons in the city, you know, it's to me, it kind of, I, it, I would lean more as a former investigator and, and working these kind of things more towards uh, the bombing side of things, Wolf. We're just getting word uh, that D.C. Metropolitan Police now also, like New York, uh, has gone to a heightened state of security out of an abundance of precaution that perhaps this is not just some sort of uh, gas uh, leak or uh, some sort of uh, infrastructure explosion. 
uh, in Boston, a generator or whatever. Uh, so D.C. police, like New York police, going to a heightened state of alert right now to make sure that uh, they are prepared if, in fact, it is something more sinister, meaning it's some sort of coordinated terrorist attack in Boston. So we're watching what's going on in New York. We're watching what's going on in Washington, D.C., uh, but first and foremost right now in Boston, where at least we believe a half a dozen people have been injured in at least two explosions. We don't know the result. We're going to stay on top of this story. I'll be back in one hour to continue our coverage in the Situation Room. Jake Tapper picks up our coverage right now on the lead.